Hi there! So uh, we're on Vloggy Thoughts Day 4 now, I believe. 5? Maybe 5. I think the birthday one was 4. Anyway, so I wanted to do... I'm much better than yesterday, clearly. Um, though I did spend most of my morning kind of moping around my bedroom in my favorite plaid pajama pants. Um, but I wanted to do a video um, about some socks that I'm knitting because I started the um, February Maiden Socks from Jesh. I started those this morning uh, and they're awesome. I love them. I'm super stoked about them. And then I've, I've got another one, another pattern that I've had on the needles for like, I don't know, like three months now. I started them as a knit along with other people and I'm terrible at knit alongs. I just never follow along. So I wanted to show you that one because it's a really cool pattern. Got my, my handy dandy leg here. This is the Sedona sock pattern from um, Yen for Yarn. I can't remember her real name, but I will look it up when I post this on the blog and I will link to it. It is, like I said, it's the Sedona sock pattern. It's really simple. It's um, a really easy lace pattern with little baby cables. They're actually not even... I don't think that, I don't know, I honestly haven't knit on it in so long. I don't remember if they're just twisted stitches or real cables. But I got this far and then put it down for some reason and never just followed up on it. But I want to, I'm going to pick them back up because I wanted to have uh, these done uh, for my, my stepmom, Cheryl, who is a wonderful, wonderful lady. And I'm going home in June. And so I want to have them done. And then I... Like I said, I cast on for the um, February Maiden socks in my hand dyed yarn. And here's where I'm at thus far. Not not too far just yet, but it's a really, really simple lace repeat. It's the gold lace pattern from, um, from Elizabeth Zimmerman's February Baby so Sweater and... I, I've already got it memorized. I really like how it's working up. It's a great TV knitting project. So I strongly recommend both of these patterns. Um, if you like a sock pattern that is a little bit more interesting to work on than just straight stockinette, I get really bored with stockinette really quick. Um, but you don't necessarily want something that's so complicated that you're going to have to keep checking charts and things like that. The Sedona um, sock pattern, a couple repeats into that, you'll have it memorized. Same with the February Maiden pattern. So... Um, I'm feeling like I'm on, you know, every summer I kind of go on a sock binge. That was the last time I knit a bunch of socks was right at the beginning of the summer. I think because it's so warm in Vegas, it's the only thing that I can knit with just, without just having a whole bunch of weight sitting in my lap. So I like socks in the summer. So those are my recommendations for today. This February maiden sweater has kind of pulled me out of my funk. I feel it's really nice to knit from somebody else's pattern. The pattern is really well written, very easy, and um, I think it's going to knit up super quick. So definitely a great pattern. Would work great with a kettle dyed or semi-solid sock yarn or a just straight solid. But I always like semi-solids or kettle dyed because it gives them a little tiny bit of, of variegation and it just makes the sock look really nice and textured. So I like the one that Jess did her sample in too, um, which is what inspired me to use this green, even though her green is a lot brighter. She used one from Oddish Creations, um, who uh, the girl who runs Oddish Create. Uh, Creations does a lot of other stuff too. She's a great artist in general. Um, and I've ordered stamps, hand carved stamps from her before. She's she's really awesome. So the green that Jess used in her sample was was really, really cool. Um, I I think that they would look awesome in like a bright yellow. So if somebody knits this pattern in a bright yellow, I'd love to see them because I'm actually thinking about dyeing myself some bright yellow to knit the same pattern in the bright yellow. So that's the vloggy thoughts for today because I am still far too lazy to actually type a blog post. Uh, until next time, see ya.